everybody, this is Sarah Bailey with Prairie Plains Resource Institute. I'm out here today at one of our prairie restoration sites, and as you've been learning in the classroom, prairie restorations and habitat restorations are really important to bringing native plants back to the landscape as well as the animals that call uh, the prairie home, and that includes pollinators. And so I have some uh, common milkweed plants that I've brought out here today that have been growing. And so this is the final step in the process since you've been growing these in the classroom as well. Um, and I'm going to share a little bit about planting these in the ground. And so you might uh, be planting these at a habitat restoration site or a prairie restoration or even in a pollinator garden. So the technique for planting is all the same. Um, there's just a few considerations um, at each place, but I'll show you uh, how to get these in the ground. So the first step in the process to planting these actually takes place before you get to a habitat restoration site or to the prairie garden that you're planting. And uh, that first step is actually hardening the plants off. And that basically means that you're going to get them uh, adapted to outdoor or harsher conditions than, than what they were growing in. And so you'll want to take them out for about a week ahead of planting and place them in a sunny outdoor location and make sure that they're watered during that time. Um, but having them out in that location will help them uh, adapt better to uh, windy days or direct um, sunlight and UV rays um, that you don't typically find when you grow them indoors or in the greenhouse. Um, so that just helps them get stronger uh, as they develop and get them ready to go outside. Um, so once you've done that and you get out to your restoration site, um, the planting is a pretty simple process, but you'll want to follow just a few uh, really simple instructions just to ensure that they will survive and do well at their site. So um, first is digging a hole that's going to be deep enough and wide enough. Um, and we want to make sure that we do that so we're not leaving any roots or any part of the soil that comes out of the pot with the roots. Um, you don't want to leave any of that exposed. Um, so we're going to make sure we make a decently deep hole here. And then you will want to take the plant out of the container. So you might squeeze the edges just a bit and then carefully push that plant downwards and out. And you can see over the last couple months, this has been developing a pretty nice root system for this common milkweed. Whoop. <laughs> and then we are going to put that in the hole. And I'm going to make sure when I do that, um, that I can still cover over the top of the soil here from the pot, that I can cover that with quite a bit of soil. Um, so that looks pretty good. So I'm going to fill in around kind of where there's gaps on the sides and push down a little bit. And then fill in over the top and keep pushing down a little. All right, and then I'm gonna, just gonna give it some final firm presses down and you're set to go. And so planting in a restoration site or a habitat uh, site, uh, you're gonna wanna look for the open areas here, just like I did. So I found some open soil around the other plants uh, where this plant can thrive and do well. Uh, if you're planting in a pollinator garden, uh, say at school, uh, you'll wanna work with uh, other teachers or uh, other people uh, that are in charge of that project and kind of figure out the best areas uh, for that and space the plants out a little bit so that they have space to grow too.